what is the overall love energy for the sign of Virgo? Just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. So Virgo, in the recent past we have the Emperor. Now you could have found yourself falling for someone who was older than you at that time. This person was likely to be attracted to order, logic, and organization. The attraction uh, may have not been mutual from the very beginning, but if you were patient and persistent, it was more than likely to have grown. Remember that fireworks at the beginning, it's all well and good then, but you wouldn't need to ask yourself how long fireworks last for in life. Uh, just keep in mind, or either you knew that a slow burning connection is likely to far outlast the fireworks. The emperor is paired with the king of wands. Now when it comes to love, the king of wands is an excellent card in the tarot. He signifies that someone you care about also has protective and caring feelings about you and that they are also willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. You could have been more than usually focused on your own work or career at that time but you made time for romance, even if you were single, because you knew if you didn't, you'd end up with work being the only thing in your life. And that's the King of Wands in the recent past. So let's move on to the present. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, when it comes to relationships and love with the Seven of Pentacles, it points to things going well for the person that you have your heart set on. If you are not in a committed relationship, you need to be open to other possibilities. However, none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. So don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear. Just know that all is well. The Seven of Pentacles is paired with the World card. Now, keep in mind, if you travel during this time period and you're in the market for a relationship, you may well meet someone while you are away. This will be true even if the travel is only locally and not very far away. So don't be afraid to mingle or talk to strangers. If you have been in a committed relationship for some time, you probably likely to find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department should be quite interesting at this time, but in a very good way. And with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Pentacles, um, uh the person that you're with things are going very well for them now if the relationship is committed i'm sorry if you're not in a committed relationship uh keep your heart open to other possibilities okay because none of us have just one person that we can connect with in a great way and being that it's paired with the world card, um, uh, yeah, so you could meet someone while you're traveling. That's going to be the best time to meet someone at this time while you're away. Now, this could be even if you're just going to the grocery store. So always try to look your best because uh, it's saying that with these two cards paired together, it's a great time to meet someone but especially while you're traveling okay so make sure you talk to strangers 
and um, don't be afraid to socialize with people that you just met, especially while you're away traveling. And that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Hermit card. Now it's possible that a romance from your past may be rekindled. Ask yourself, is that what you really want? It seems that romantic relationships, they're not currently a priority for you right now. If your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? In a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while now. So make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. The Hermit card is paired with the Six of Cups. So with this card, if you are in a romantic relationship at this time, it can indicate that the relationship may need to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. It's important now not to, I'm sorry, it's important now not to stay stuck. Don't stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this card can signify the reappearance, the reappearance of an old lover in your life. Think long and hard before restarting an old romance because we all know that exes are usually exes for a reason. With these two cards paired together, the Hermit card, oh, they, they're, they're both about past people returning. Okay, the Hermit card is basically about uh, romance from your past being rekindled. Romance from your past being rekindled, but you need to think hard before you jump back into it. Okay, because it seems that um, because you might be in hermit mode, relationships is not high on the priority for you at this time. So when this past person uh, returns or try to come back, um, and if you decide to go, if you decide to go back to this past person. Being that it's paired with the Six of Cups, uh, you may need to refocus. You know, just rem remind yourself that the relationship has changed. You two are probably two different people than you were when you first started dating. So it needs to be refocused towards the new, towards who you two are today and not who you two were when you first met. Okay, so you, you guys are going to need to communicate, talk about your goals and dreams, and try new things. Okay, don't stay stuck in how you two did things in the past. And that's going to be the challenge. Now, we move on to the outcome. We have the two of wands. If you're already in a relationship, it's about to get a lot more equal. Pay attention to your ideas about equality and balance and share them. If you're looking for love, someone who could be a very, very good mate or match for you, they're already a part of your life. You probably just don't know it. So make sure you're not judging a book by its cover. If someone's interested in you, give it a chance. This relationship will probably be just what you're looking for. That's the two of wands. Now let's move on to the nine of cups. Now this is a, also a very good card in the tarot. If you're already in a relationship, it's very possible that it's gonna deepen and become better and sweeter. If you're single, it's a great time to meet people. Don't forget to socialize. Socialize, socialize. Whether it's online or just getting out and mingling with strangers. Okay? Have connect, have conversations with people that you meet without being married to. Okay? The ideal is to have fun at this time. With these two cards paired together, the two of wands. 
Your relationship is about to become more equal. Okay? Pay attention to your ideals of equality and balance and share them with your partner. Okay? So, someone that's in your circle already is a perfect match for you. But you don't, you're, you're not aware of, you're probably not aware of it yet. They haven't made themselves known yet. Okay? Or they could could be coming towards you. It's paired with the Nine of Cups. Very, very good time for love and relationships. So once you meet this person or if you decide to give someone you know that you think is a, a good candidate, uh, the relationship is going to become uh, deep and sweet. So it's a great time for romance and finding someone new at this time. So just remember the idea is to have fun. And that's the outcome. So Virgo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.